Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how you can find the RBG mixer in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. Because when you come here to the program, in first glimpse it looks like we don't have the RGB mixer on our DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. Because you have this feature on the desktop, but where is it here? And I'm not talking about that one, if you come here to the color wheels, you can select this one here, this is the color bars. It looks kind of similar, but it's not the RGB mixer. So how can we find the RGB mixer? It's actually very simple when you know how. You have to right click here on the camera raw. So if you right click, you get this little window here and you have a couple of more options. And one option is the RGB mixer. So now we have the RGB mixer. So for what do we actually need the RGB mixer? It's a different way how you can interact with your colors on your footage. I will give you an example. Here we have the representation of red, green and blue. And to see this even better, I have now the scopes on because here we can see see in which kind of colors we are. So for example, if I push the red out, obviously I get more red. If I do, let's do reset, if I do the same for green, I'm more in the green level, right? The cool thing about this is if I, for example, everything is now value one. If I go up to value two on all three, so for red, green, and blue, I do the following. So let's just swipe this one up because the maximum is two. So now you see, we still have the same balance but we increase the saturation of our image. And the cool thing is with the opposite. If I say, for example, zero for red and zero for green and zero for blue, I now get a black and white image. That's very cool. Or for example, if you go down with the red level and with the green level to minus two and with the blue level to minus two, so with all of them minus, if you have the same value for red, green and blue in the minus values, you created now a negative of your original image, a negative saturated image. This is what we created now. So now we have the RGB mixer, but when do we use the RBG mixer, you may be asking, because we have all those other tools, right? Yes, sometimes if we do some correction here with the color wheels, it's not exactly the same than using, for example, the RBG mixer. I prepared something for you. So let's say, for example, we have an image that has too much yellow in it. That's also what we can see here in the scopes. So everything is a little bit more yellow. And for that case, for example, I would go to the RBG mixer and I can now correct the image in here. So for example, if I have too much blue, uh, too much yellow, I want to correct this with blue. So I would now go to blue and push the blue until we are here more in the middle. And this is also why the vector scopes are so amazing because with the vector scopes, I can see immediately if I'm balancing out my image or not. And you see now it looks already so much better than, than it was before. So the RBG mixer, is a very great tool to correct your images while just pushing those channels. I could even give more to blue, let's say if this two value is not enough, increase the other channels, I can give even more blue to blue. So it's a very cool way to correct your stuff. What I also can do, for example, I see here a little bit more yellow there. I could use the red ones, bring it down there, take the green one, bring it closer there and use those ones here to push it a little bit more over there. It's just roughly now, but this one looks so much better than the original now with the yellow just corrected very fast. And you can use this to correct your images. I hope you learned something today. If you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, also the complete color page. We cover that in our masterclass for DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. I have a link here in the description. So check it out. There's a couple of cool bonuses that come with the masterclass. No other class gives you all of those bonuses. So you can just start immediately editing your stuff, being faster on the iPad. We also have two communities, one Facebook community and also a Discord community. So check out the links in the description as well. We see us in the next video. If you like this video, if you learned something, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding on the bam bang gong and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.